it would help starting a video if I actually had my audio on. So, <laughs> hello everybody, my name is Super Splat, and welcome to, hang on, let me turn it down so I don't look like a white ghost, even though I don't look like one already, and now we got a rainbow effect. I think I'd rather be a ghost than a rainbow. Yes, okay, I will be a ghost today. There we go. <laughs> A little bit of natural light, but I look extremely great out. Anyway, so, um, I was scrolling through my Reddit page and wanted to do, or I was looking through all my match cards because I'm, uh, well, let me turn down my audio a little bit. See, peaking really high. So, I was going through my Reddit page and, uh, looking at all the match cards that I made for Reddit. But, um, because I'm also rebooting my 2K19, I'm rebooting my 2K universe a little bit. Um, and 2K19 says as long as we gotta wait for 2K22, uh, for a few more months. Um, till Mania season, and it's August right now. <laughs> great. So, I figured let's take a look at my, uh, 2K universe. Again, this was originally designed for 2K20. And, uh... I figured let's take it to 2k22 and then 2k22 is not here so I'm gonna reboot it and yeah so um, here I used uh, imager for it's I don't know why my internet is being like super potato right now so I used tier maker to make up a roster list because at this point I didn't know what I was doing so in the main event tier, we got uh, Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, Jeff Hardy, AJ, and Daniel Bryan. Uh, mid card I had Andrade, McIntyre, Murphy, Sullivan. This was pre-firing of Lars. Rusev, Shinsuke, EC3, Harper, Riddle, Black, Alistair Black tag teams. I got the AOP, Usos, the Revival, and the Good Brothers, and I had Women's Division. I had Bliss, Becky, Tony, Kai. I honestly don't remember drafting Dakota Kai. That's kind of crazy. Um, Mia Yim and Ember. And then Women's Tag Team Division, I got the Sky Warriors, the Iconics, and then I had the Bellas. But I don't know. Oh, because this tier, tier list didn't have um, them. So, again, I, I probably should have preempted with this. A little bit of house cleaning. So, this 2K Universe, the main shows are Raw and SmackDown. Developmentals are... 205, NXT, and Shimmer. 205, self-explanatory. It's all the cruiserweights. Um, NXT is... N NXT was for men and tag teams, and Shimmer was for women, singles women and tag teams. And I also made a cruiserweight tag team title for 205. So there's tag teams all across the board. Um, and I'll get to my reboot at the end of the video. So then this was uh, SmackDown's roster drafted by AI, best way I could put it. Like I just had like random wheel, like random, oh random list, yeah I didn't use wheel, uh, wheel to decide. So for main event, SmackDown had Kevin Owens, Orton, Rollins, Samoa Joe, Midcard, Corbin, Cesaro, Elias, Ono, Lee, Slater, Titus, you know, I should have defined at this point, like, jobbers and stuff. Uh, Sammy, Matt Hardy. Tag team, you had Hawkins and Ryder. Heavy Machinery, Breezango, New Day. And Street Profits, the women's division they have, they had. Asuka, Mella, Mickey, Alicia, Lacey, Dana, and Zelina. Then women's tag, they had Boss and Hog, the Riot Squad, and Fire and Desire. Then there was, oh, Maurice was also in this women's division. Huh. Okay, and then for uh, NXT, they had Bobby Lashley, Roman, mid-card was Apollo, Rowan, <laughs> Jinder, Mojo, Jose, R-Truth, Rude, Shane Thorne, again this was 2K20, so obviously there's going to be some omittance uh, missing, uh, Sean Benjamin, and uh, Velveteen Dream. And they had the B team, the War Raiders. Again, this was just render, not in any means that they were uh, the champions. Same with, with Velveteen. 
uh, Bay Mustache Mountain, and then I made up the residuals of Eric Young and Jackson Riker. Then 205, we had Adam Cole, uh, Ali. Sorry, I'm drawing a huge blank. I don't know why it's looking right at me. Uh, Balor, Kalisto, Cedric, Gargano, Dunn, Ricochet, Champa, Nice, mid card, Tazawa, Davari, Strong, Jack Gallagher. Again, this was before the uh, Speaking Out movement, Me Too movement. I forget what they called it for uh, wrestling, for the world of wrestling. Umberto, Canellis, Dar, Oni Larkin, Sinkara, Ray. And then tag teams, I had the genuine grapplers of Dugulak and Gable. Then the Undisputed Era, Fish and O'Reilly, Lucha House Party, and then Kendrick and Andrews. I couldn't come up with a team name for them. So without further ado, let's go to the first match card. Okay, so here we go. I'm still waiting. Again, I don't know why my internet is super potato right now, but I've got like a whole first series of uh, match cards loading up here. I got three still rendering. Again, I don't know why my internet's being super potato right now. Anyway, so my first card, and I, you're going to be able to see it, kind of like the, the evolution of me making match cards, um, because I do it for Broken Script Wrestling as well, um, I'll put an annotation. I don't know why this headset does this, I think it just does it because it thinks I'm idle for too long, whatever, I don't get it. Anyway. Uh, for Broken Script Wrestling, so I'll put a annotation card somewhere for uh, the YouTube channel for Broken Script Wrestling that I'm part of, and we also haven't been doing content in a hot minute, so. Um, I think we were going to for 2K22, but then we got to wait more for that, but anyway. Um, so I did, all, sorry, there's all like a bug. I didn't mean to smack anybody in the face when I did that. Um, so for Backlash, it was more of... Um, finding inaugural champions for raw because i did all the booking for raw smackdown was just ai so it was complete chaos over on raw so we have uh for the women's tag team titles because they were split between raw and smackdown we had the sky warriors versus the boston hug connection and boston hug won much to my dismay because they were over on smackdown the fatal four we match for the uk title so for the titles too, I randomized them, and that's what I got. Uh, so Fatal 4-Way was EC3. I did like a whole like tournament qualifier kind of thing. Uh, so it was EC3, Alistair Black, Rusev, and McIntyre, and Alistair Black actually won the title, and he ran with it for quite a while. Uh, Penny Tag Titles, Revival versus the Usos. I don't remember who won. I want to say maybe it was Usos. I don't. Rem I don't remember. And then uh, Divas title, Bliss and Natalia. Bliss won that. And then undisputed title, Fiend versus Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan won. So. Next month, Money in the Bank, and oh boy! All right, we have a uh, again. <laughs> it's just my evolution of making match cards because the titles are absolutely huge here. The rent, their sizes are better here, but the titles are still absolutely massive. Boston Hood Connection versus the Bellas, and I played for Raw because I thought 2K20 was going to give me a challenge because 2K19 on Legend difficulty is actually really hard, but 2K20 is way too easy to play if you're playing against AI even on legend difficulty uh, so I think I had the Bellas win here and then uh, Oda, uh, Heavy Machinery versus New Day for the world tag I don't remember who won that the Kings of Wrestling implode you know again they weren't tag, tag team partners in this universe uh, Ono is the champion versus Cesaro I couldn't tell you who won that again I'm smack uh, raw <clears throat> they're gonna be title i had the fiend go over Bray, uh daniel bryan for the title oh the revival one okay <laughs> revival versus the usos 
I couldn't tell you who remember who won that, but I know I remember booking um, that they were trading wins back and forth, or like the revival just kept coming up losing several times, and then it got to the point where I booked like if the revival can't win the titles here, like in a two out of three falls match or something, they are gone from Raw. So I know that was a thing. I just don't remember if this kind of kickstarted it here. And then we got UK title, Black versus Harper. I don't think this is when Harper won the title. We'll find out next month because I honestly don't remember. Uh, World of Weight Championship, Rollins versus Kofi. I did a battle. I couldn't come up with another match for this card. I seemed like I was sticking to like a set number of matches on a big four. I did a five Money in the Bank card. And I couldn't come up with anything, I guess, for another match. So I decided to do like a dual branded battle royal where the winner gets number one contendership for their respected mid card title. I don't remember. Oh, Slater. Oh yeah, Sl <laughs> Slater won this. I remember because um, it was a huge upset, and I totally didn't expect it at all. Women's Money in the Bank. I played as Natalia and won. Yeah. And then for the men's money in the bank, I did McIntyre, and he won. Next was the Great American Bash. I put randomly um, Nakamura and Riddle together, like in a short program. They had a ha they they needed to do a program at some point if they haven't already, like have a match together, Riddle Nakamura, because I remember these were banging matches that they were knocking out um so that was an old holds barred match triple threat uk title black versus murphy and harper i don't i, I seem like i remember booking it as a triple threat so then that way somebody could take the pin or that way buddy can take the pin regardless um to make not black or harper look weak but i don't remember who won it and then open challenge for Bliss's title because I don't remember exactly what happened, but Naomi was in Shimmer, so she answered the open challenge and lost. I think this was the ult I think this was the rubber match here. The two out of three falls for the tag titles, Usos versus Revival. I had Andrade versus Braun for no reason whatsoever, and this was I think still a glitchy time where 2K kept putting in like Vince McMahon to like run in and dump people out of the ring because he did that to he did that at one point I think with like a women's match that he dumped like Maurice out of the ring or something um but in this match Vince appeared and he was in support for Andrade which is funny because he was really in IRL Vince was really high on Braun like that he was basically like his monster so it's like for him to be in the corner for Andrade, it's like, okay, this is really weird. I could probably make it work. Um, singles match, I did Davari versus EC3, and at this point, I really wanted to do the pairing of EC3 and uh, Ted DiBiase. Women's tag titles on the line, the Bellas versus Paige and Natalia. Natalia, either it was either the way I booked her, or I don't remember, but it's like she went on a hell of a tear that's like, she could be like the women's champion. She could be the Divas champion and tag champion. It's like, holy crap. Okay. <laughs> uh, then I did Tony versus Becky because I don't know why. I think Becky won that. Uh, Drew's Money in the Bank was on the line against Jeff Hardy because Jeff. Oh, because I played as Drew on a random Raw against Hardy. I could not reverse because it was, I think it was just because it wasn't actually popping up. I couldn't reverse a Swanton for crap. And uh, Hardy got a shot at Drew's Money in the Bank. And then Styles and Fiend for the Undisputed title. I think Fiend, Fiend won that. I know that for sure because he went on a tear for a while. Again, I played. So. SummerSlam. Seemed like there should have been something in the middle. Or something in between. I don't remember. Anyway. New Day versus Machinery, Asuka versus Mickey, Ono oh Cesaro, Triple Threat Women's uh, Tag Titles. I think Boston Hog won it again. 
I think. Oh, Harper won that triple threat. Okay, yep. Versus Alistair Black. Nakamura Riddle. I did a Iron Man, I think, this time around. Uh, Revival versus Uso. This was, and I did an Iron Man, and it was kind of underwhelming, but anyway. Uh, Revival versus Uso, so this was not the rubber match I was talking about earlier. Uh, Tony versus Bliss. I don't remember if this is when Tony won the title. Maybe? I don't remember. Kofi and Rollins, and then Hardy and The Fiend. And you'll see what happens here after this, because I absolutely loved it. Uh... So then we come to Unforgiven. Again, these are all like Raw and Cobra and pay per views. I didn't make cards for SmackDown. Gallows and Anderson split. Um, because Gallows kept getting pins. He kept getting he kept being the one getting pinned. Uh, and Carl had enough of it, so basically the the club split on Raw. Steel Cage match, I don't know why. EC3 versus Mysterio. I don't remember why. Iconics versus Bella Twins. I think the Bellas retained. I don't remember. McIntyre versus Orton. I think I think similar thing with Hardy. I couldn't beat Orton. I, I don't remember. Murphy versus Harper. Styles versus Black. Okay, no, maybe this is when Tony won the title. I'll probably keep saying that until she actually wins it. I don't remember. Uh, versus Bliss. I got really tired of that Bliss render because it was like really low res and I don't know why. And then uh, War Raiders versus the Usos. And then uh, Willow versus the Fiends. So yes, I made a Willow call because I kept, I came up with the idea uh, for Willow to be in WWE because then he can gain power so he can match the fiend if he if Jeff turned it into Willow I remember how Willow's reign ended I don't remember how it began so maybe it began here at Unforgiven I don't think so okay it did never mind <laughs> uh, Extreme Rules match War Raiders versus AJ and Gallows here's where I'm talking about again Vince with Andrade, two out of three falls, because I don't know why. Open challenge for the UK title. Harper is still a champion. Uh, the Iconics did win at Unforgiven. And a false can anywhere match against the Sky Warriors. I think the Iconics retained. Singles match between EC3 and Black. Triple threat. Okay, so, yep, so Tony did win at Unforgiven. And then against Maurice and Alexa Bliss. I... So the thing, I kept a whole spreadsheet for the universe, and I did, I took a lot of elements from GM mode in the SVR games, where, like, if somebody's going on a five losing streak, they can jump ship, um, or kind of like, if they were already on SmackDown, then they came to Raw, and then they lost several times, then I would put them in developmental, and same thing with developmental, if everybody wins several matches, they get promoted either to Raw or SmackDown, depending on where. I think that they would fit or whether the brands need them. Um, so Maurice got moved over from SmackDown to Raw. I don't remember who wins here. I'm not going to spoil anything I remember that I do remember. <laughs> Riddle and Orton before they became RK Bro IRL in 2020. 2021. No, 2020. Um, I think I needed a match, so I threw him in the co main event. I just spit on my computer. Uh, and then Willow versus The Fiend inside Hell in a Cell. Then we come to Survivor Series, which of course is Raw versus SmackDown. So we had UK Champion Harper versus Samoa Joe, the United States Champion. I got my clock cleaned <laughs> in this Survivor Series. I couldn't... This and then Series 2, I cannot win against SmackDown. I don't know how or why. I cannot win. Um, I think I've won like maybe like one match here, and I think it was the Women's Survivor Series. I think so. It's Harper versus Joe, WWE Tag versus World Tag, War Raiders versus Machinery, Team Raw versus Team SmackDown for the men. Yeah, I got rid of Brian because he he beat the Fiend, you know, with the knee bar. 
and I don't remember, I don't think I was watching a whole lot of WWE at the point, I don't remember him using a knee bar whatsoever, and I felt like it was really cheating, so I'm like, get rid of Brian, like, I don't care. <laughs> I got rid of Braun, because again, I couldn't do anything with him. Braun, honestly, is so hard to book, I don't understand how anybody can do it, 2K or IRL, but yeah, Braun is so hard to book. Uh, Fatal 4-Way is going to be a common theme. I can't believe I did it this many times. Fatal 4-Way ladder match for the women's tag titles. Skywars, Iconics, Fire Desire, and the Boston Hug. I don't remember who were the champions. I don't remember if Fire Desire ever won the titles. I think they did once. Uh, Undisputed Champion, McIntyre versus World Champion, Kofi. Divas Champion, Tony versus Becky. I think Tony actually got the upset here over Becky Lynch, if I remember correctly. I could look at results, but again, my internet's potato, so I don't feel like it. And then Team Raw versus SmackDown. I honestly couldn't remember who was the mystery partner, and it was Charlotte. Because at the time, too, I was doing uh, the 2K365s, which I'll put cards for. Because I was doing... Um, I wanted to interact... Do interaction with the uh, RWE Games subreddit. And I wanted People's Cause, and I would do Mayon Classic, Cruiserweight Classic, and uh, Tough Enough. So there was a lot of con involvement that you'll see later on. But Charlotte was um, exiting Shimmer, I believe, at this point. And I think she was looking for... I think she was getting called up. But I think I didn't know where to put her, so I just kind of put her as like a... Uh, will she, won't she be on Raw kind of thing. Uh, so then we come to Extreme Rules, Submission Match, Gargano, Andrade. I don't remember who won, maybe Gargano. War Raiders for the Usos for the tag titles. Uh, Natalia's Money in the Bank was on the line, so there was a little bit of a thing here. Storyline, where Paige was Natalia's heavy, when she was, obviously, because we saw them pair up against uh, the Bellas. Um, so Paige was kind of like Natalia's heavy for some reason like an insurance policy that she doesn't lose money in the bank or I don't know but either way they clash for Natalia's money in the bank there's Charlotte versus Brie uh, Riddle versus Harper or False Count Anywhere I think this is where Riddle actually won the UK title I think No Holds Barred Styles Nakamura Extreme Rules Tony Maurice Extreme Rules Mech Oh, right. I completely forgot. Yeah, McIntyre cashed in his money in the bank on Willow right before Survivor Series. <laughs> so that's how McIntyre became the champion for Survivor Series, and then he's facing Aleister Black. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I split the... Uh, I split the Iconics. I split the Bellas because they were just winning, 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 and I wanted to split them. I think that was the reason I booked that four ways because I wanted them to lose the titles so I could do something with them and I split split them I think yeah Nikki went smack down and kept Brie so here we are in the Royal Rumble and we're gonna get really close <laughs> here and I don't know why uh, so now finally I think Gallows went to NXT so then we had Carl Anderson versus AJ Carl became because WWE is PG. I think I went with like the Butcher, Carl Anderson, or like something like that. I did some like kind of weird singles gimmick for him versus AJ. Glorious power, <laughs> Robert Roode, the former uh, North American champion. I think he was North American. I don't think he was NXT champion. Uh, with EC3 and Ted versus War Raiders, and I believe they won. Singles match against SmackDown, so it's Strowman versus Cesaro. I don't know why. Men's Rumble. Oh, sorry, Women's Rumble. I I don't remember who won. Honestly, I don't I don't remember who won the Women's Rumble here. UK title Riddle versus Murphy. Again, you could see still the, like the evolution of me making match cards. They've gotten substantially better. US title Corbin versus Miz. Women's title Becky and Asuka. Uh, world title Mystery Opponent McIntyre. I think it was The Fiend. I don't remember. No! 
No, 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 no. I think it was Firefly House Bray Wyatt. That's, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> I remember downloading a cock. Yeah, so it was Firefly Funhouse Bray versus McIntyre for the world title. Or undisputed title. Then world title, Rollins versus New Day, uh, Kofi. Then the Men's Rumble. Again, I don't remember who won. We'll find out at WrestleMania. Okay. I knew this was a team. I didn't remember when they won the titles. Uh, Bliss and Brooke, I put as a team. I think I was, like, randomly talking about it with friend, uh, people in my Discord. Like, oh, yeah, this would be a great idea for uh, Dana to do something. And it worked really, really well, honestly. Couldn't come up with a name for them, but it, they were a great tag team. I absolutely loved it. Uh, Bliss and Brooke versus the Iconics. Maybe the Iconics won here, or I don't think they won at Mania. Uh, False Guy Anywhere, Mysterio, Orton... Styles was Anderson. This is when Anderson won the UK. Uh, he won the UK title off Riddle. Must have been on episode of Raw. Last Man Standing. Then we got Triple Threat Tag. Usos versus Mustache Mountain versus Glorious Power. Power retained. I know that for sure. Divas title. Maurice and Natalia. Natalia did the preemptive cash in. Mostly because this match um Maurice no okay so Maurice and Tony so they had their extreme rules match and then I think I booked it I booked a rematch I booked a rematch where if Tony loses she cannot enter the women's rumble that was the thing so Tony was omitted from the women's rumble. So then Natalia, because she was the only one left on the roster, she cashed in her money in the bank preemptively again here against Maurice at Elimination Chamber. And Maurice retained. And then we had two out of three falls for them to be the title, Black and... Sorry. Black versus McIntyre. And then the women's Elimination Chamber... Uh, for no more contendership at WrestleMania, and guess what? Tony won. So, that's booking. That's a uh, long term booking for you. Alright, so here we go WrestleMania 30, excuse me, 5. SmackDown, because I don't know why. Uh, Andre the Giant Memorial. I want to say either Shelton or Gargano won that. China Memorial, I don't remember. Uh, submission match for some reason. <laughs> Smackdown bucking. Joe versus Miz. Uh, Four-way ladder match. I was trying to get the title off of Anderson. I think AJ ended up winning it. Uh, World tag. Heavy Machinery versus New Day. Fire and Desire versus Bliss and Brooke. I think they retain. Don't quote me on it. Uh, Brian... Did he? Wait. Okay, no. Yep. Brian did not win the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Brian didn't win the Royal Rumble. Uh, versus uh, Seth Rollins. Black and Fiend. I thought... I kind of did it last minute. I thought it was going to be a great idea. They kind of put on a stinker of a match. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah. Alicia Fox won the Women's Rumble. Okay. Mustache Mountain versus Glorious Power. And a huge upset. Mustache Mountain won the tag titles. Then, yeah, Women's Royal Rumble winner, Alicia Fox versus Becky for the women's title. Becky retained, obviously. I did an I Quit match, Tony and Maurice. So the way I did an I Quit match was, and again, because it's 2K20 and it's always buggy as hell, it didn't ever pan out the way I wanted it to. I was doing, um, I think I did a, basically... A submissions false count anywhere with knockout turned on I think that's what I did and no matter how many times I tried to recreate an I quit match there was always one stipulation missing whether it's like false count anywhere was turned off for whatever reason even though it was on uh, pinfalls were allowed even though it was submission or knockout so thanks 2k20 yep and then men's Royal rumble winner Rey Mysterio versus McIntyre, I was honestly... I think I just watched these. I don't think I played them. 
I was honestly expecting Ray to win, but he didn't. And McIntyre won. So that is series one. Go to series two. Okay, so here we go with season two, or a little bit of season, end of tail end of season one, a little bit of season two. Uh, so AJ versus Nakamura. I think I panicked and looked for a match to book. Fatal four way for the women's or the Divas title. I think Brie won, and I think that was maybe the intention. I think this is when I gave up on trying to play the matches because they were just easy. Or I did that at Mania. Um, I think Brie won. Maybe I think uh, Mustache Mountain versus Glorious Power and Glorious Power won. Again, I think yeah, this was AI. I felt bad for Mustache Mountain that they had like weeks long title reign, but Glorious Power just could not be stopped. They were a hell of a team. Stream rolls Andrade versus Orton. I don't know why. Bliss and Brooke versus Sky Warriors. And then triple threat Willow versus Harper versus McIntyre. And actually, sorry, Willow. Hardy. Hardy won the title. <sighs> then here's where I introduced the 24 7 title in season two. Who won it? Um, it was more of a scramble than, like, first to grab the title. I think it was Gargano. Like, this is all just a mix between, again, all the, all the brands except for Shimmer. So then, Rasa Roulette is my own creation. I wanted to do a draft lottery, so then I, I came up with Rasa Roulette. I couldn't come up with a name. I helped. I asked Reddit for help. Thank you, Reddit, for naming it. Uh, so now it's been a thing in my universes. Uh, so yeah, Rasa Roulette, draft pick. Couldn't tell you who got drafted to where or the results. Again, I think this was kind of like Survivor Series where I just got swept by SmackDown. So we got um, Orton versus Kevin. Oh, Sky Warriors won at Payback. Okay. Or after. Against Fire and Desire. I want to say, I think maybe Fire and Desire actually won this match. I don't remember. UK Champion versus United States Champion. AJ versus Sammy. Sammy actually won that and I was kind of upset about it. Riddle and Ono, six woman tag, Bliss, Natalia, and Maurice versus Mickey, Asuka, and Carmella for two picks. World Tag Team Champions, The New Day versus Glorious Power. I think New Day won. I was also very upset about that. Charlotte versus Bailey for one pick. Mustache Mountain versus Machinery for one pick. Here's why I don't do multi-man tags in Universe Mode, or at least not in the roster roulette. Multi-man, <laughs> I think maybe it was Elimination. I don't think it was. That was just a mess, I remember. It was such a mess. Yeah, Brie won. Here's where it gets tragic, from what I remember from this roster roulette. Um, Brie got drafted earlier on in the show. So she was still the Divas Champion, but she was going to SmackDown, and then she actually won the match, and she did not get herself drafted back, unfortunately. So, yeah, that was really unfortunate. I was really kind of upset about it, and same thing here. Um, I think Rollins won, but Hardy was drafted earlier on in the show. It's like, so now I just lost both my Divas and my World Champion. Thanks, SmackDown. So that's why there's a couple of uh, vacant matches here on, or vacant titles on the line at Money, uh, Money in the Bank. Mahal and so sorry, Sammy. It's a long video. Uh, the Iconics versus Fabulous Glow for the women's tag. Wait, really? How did they? They must. They must have won them bef in between. I think. Yeah, it must have. Been. Yeah, vacant, vacant title, so I did no holds barred for vacant championships because, you know, having matches end on disqualification or count out for a vacant title kind of sucks. And because Maurice was the one bef prior champion before Tony and Brie. What happened to Tony? I don't, I don't remember. 
So yeah, then this is after Ross Roulette, I shuffled everybody around. So there's going to be some new faces, if you couldn't tell already. So I think Fabisco actually got called up from... Fabisco got called up from Shimmer. Uh, I honestly don't remember who won. Some reason I'm leaning toward Asuka. One, but I don't remember. Yep, draft picks. <laughs> uh, I got Brian back. And I got Strowman back from that draft lottery. Uh, Corbin, I had no idea what to do with. Men's Money in the Bank. I honestly don't remember who won. Oh, Shane Thorne won. Shane Thorne won. Okay, yep, I remember. Yep. Because, I again, that was another instance of, like, after the aftermath of Ross Roulette, and then this, it's like, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know <laughs> like what to do here. Tag Team Titles, Glorious Power versus the Newcomers, the Ivy League. Jack Ivy was in the Cruiserweight Classic, and I put him together with Dar and um, Angel Garza. Really wanted them to work. They didn't, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Champa versus Styles for the UK title. I don't remember who won that. Roman versus Rollins for the world title. Big gold belt. Women's money in the bank. I think Conti won. I'm pretty sure Conti won that. And then vacant world title. Black versus Harper. Black won. I know that for sure. Because he went on a hell of a tear. So yeah, then I also um, did different pay-per-views as well. So I brought back Fatal 4-Way. Cross Shade. Michelle Shade was in the crew, uh, Mayon Classic. So I had Nikki Cross and Michelle Shade. Versus Skywars. Fabulous Glow and the Iconics. I don't remember who won here. Probably, I think the Iconics are Glow. Uh, table, Fatal 4-Way Tables match. Corbin, Canellis, Gargano, Styles. Corbin won, I believe. Much to my dismay. Uh, for 24-7, I think Dante Jordan was the champion. Or was still at the end of the show. Champa, Cesaro, Truth. Again, you can watch the 2K365 videos. Uh, elimination match. Fatal 4-Way Tag. Yikes, I was wondering my PS4 didn't blow up. <laughs> Fatal 4-Way Elimination Tag Match. Ivy League versus the Draymond Grapplers Machinery Power. Power actually won, uh, much to my surprise. And then a TLC four-way. And Asuka retained. I think I wanted her to drop the... T no, wait. I think it was... I, I think I was pushing for Ma Patricia Payne. But I think Asuka retained. So yeah, Oscar must have won at Money in the Bank, and then I think I was really wanting Payne to win, but she didn't. Then another elimination match for the undisputed title. I think Braun won here. I think. Yep. Okay. So SummerSlam. The Hall and Orton again. Or, oh no, again. Sorry. Uh, Money in the Bank winner Shane Thorne versus Bryan. They had a ro they had a program going, but I remember Brian being double booked. Yeah, for the world title as well. Okay. Revival versus New Day for the world tag. Triple threat match. No, Sonya won. That's right. Yeah, Sonya Deville was the Divas champion for about a cup of coffee. Rollins and Reigns, you're going to see that a lot for series and two. Fabulous Glow and Iconics, again, you're going to see that a lot. Becky versus Rebecca Wolf. My. Yeah, she won the May Young Classic. Winner. And then Strowman and Brian. Because. I think Brian was the only one to beat Strowman. So. No mercy. Who won that money in the bank if it wasn't Conti? I, I don't know. Sasha, I was high on for some reason so I had her brought in or traded her or whatever 
and I uh, really wanted to heal Banks. So Sasha versus Conti. Metal Leak was part of roster roulette, the supplemental draft versus uh, Tommaso Ciampa. UK title Gargano. Okay, Gargano versus Benjamin. Ivy League again versus uh, Glorious Power. I really wanted them to work. I really did. Uh, false cut anywhere. Black versus Styles. Divas title. Oscar versus Patricia Payne. I don't know why I'm thinking Payne won the title, but I don't remember. And then uh, Strowman versus Bryan for the title. And then for 365, because of Cody Clark, I um, I decided to do Evolution. I, I was I didn't I didn't know whether to do Evolution or not, so I just said to hell with it. So I did. 20, uh, Evolution 2, 24-7 title, Bliss won that because she was not signed to a roster. Uh, Carla Jones versus Mandy Rose for the Heart of Shimmer title. Four-way ladder match. <laughs> Again, you're going to see it a lot. I think Team Kick won. I think. I know they definitely reign as champions. I think Team Kick won. The Nikki versus Charlotte for the women's title. Uh, Shimmer Champion Rhea Ripley versus Dana Brooke. I think Dana won here. Then uh, Last Woman Standing, Clark versus Tony. They were tag team partners. Um, and then Tony got jealous that Cody was getting all the spotlight. So then Tony turned on her. And just basic from there. And then Divas title, Asuka versus Ronda. And Asuka retained. I have this match in full on my channel somewhere. I'll put a link for that in the description. It's a hell. It was a it was a great match. Cyber Sunday. Ninja Power. <laughs> Casey Ken and Zaro. And Bianca Belair. They were tag team partners for a while. And then as soon as they started to they they were they were together, then they were losing. Then as soon as they started dissolving, then they were winning matches, which made absolutely no sense to me. But anyway. I'm going to ask Reddit for uh, help here for Cyber Sunday. They decided it at two out of three falls. I don't remember who won. I think Bel Air. And then uh, either Champa, Thorne, or Mike Canellas. And people picked Benjamin, I think. Oh, right, because oh, Benjamin was the champion. Benjamin was the champion. Uh, I think Champa won it here, maybe. And then these two were having a great rivalry with each other, Ali and Sheamus, and people pose uh, the tables match. I quit match. <laughs> so a second time, again, I quit match. In my universe, Asuka versus Patricia Payne. Again, people were asking how that worked. Um, yeah. And then I called up Dante Jordan from 205. And he was in a rivalry against Glorious Power, but like none of his partners were working. So then I did a poll on who should be his partner. I was really surprised like how close together this was. And people chose Orton. And we're going to see a lot more Randy Orton, put it that way. So it was a legend. It was not signed to a roster. And uh, they won. So we say a lot more of Randy Orton. And then... Uh, Strowman versus Black, and you, uh, but it was a steel cage match against Braun Strowman. We get to shows Black, Brian, or Styles, and people chose Alistair Black. Yep, here we go, Survivor Series yet again. Champa versus Sammy, UK versus United States, Orton and Jordan versus New Day, Team SmackDown versus Team Raw. I'm really glad I picked for women's tag teams, kind of, not really. Uh, Divas Champion versus Women's Champion, Oscar versus Charlotte. Mixed uh, mixed match challenge. I forgot I did that. That was a great thing to do. Um, I decided to incorporate it into Survivor Series. Neon. Uh, the names are so bad, but they're fine. But they're perfect for a mixed match challenge. Neon Dogs <laughs> versus Metal Jams. And Metal Jams won. So then uh, Carl and Paige they got the number 30 spot in their respected Royal Rumbles. Women's tag team titles were on the line yet again. Fabulous Girl versus the Iconics. As you can tell, I love the Iconics if you didn't know that already. Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. 
and then Strowman versus Kofi, and Kofi actually won. TLC, we're almost there for season two. <laughs> Series two. Uh, Paige versus Ruby. I don't remember why. Tables match, Orton and Jordan versus Machinery. Orton and Jordan win. Chairs match between Ali and Champa. Champa retain. There ought to be a counter if how many times my headset decides to go idle on me. So I brought back the Bellas because I didn't know what to do. Uh, Lunation tag match Bellas versus the Riot Squad. That's right, I did call up the entirety of the Riot Squad. <laughs> uh, TLC match Asuka versus uh, said Charlotte for some reason. Sasha. Sasha definitely wins. The title at some point. I don't remember when. And then I did a TLC gauntlet match. Um, why? I don't remember. Because these were like all the all the rest of the contenders for the world title, basically. And I figured Strowman's a monster. Have him in a defending the gauntlet. So I did a TLC gauntlet. So it worked was. It was a tables match first with Owens, or a chairs match, then ladders match with Daniel, then again, either ladders or chairs match, or it was either tables or tables with AJ, then Sheamus, if Braun could get to Sheamus, was a full-on TLC match. Brian won <laughs> in the second stage of the gauntlet, so. Yep. Uh, Royal Rumble. Charlotte and Ember for the women's title. I think Ember won with an extreme upset, I think. And again, I didn't know what to do with Orton and Jordan because they kept winning. So I did champion versus champion. Yeah, Sasha was the champion. Um, against the Bellas and a triple threat. Men's Rumble. Carl won. Uh, Sammy versus Balor. Sammy does win the title at some point. I don't remember when. I don't think it was here. AJ versus Brian. And then wins Rumble Rumble. And, um... That's right. Um, Lana won. Lana was from Shimmer, and she won the Rumble. But if you watched 2K365, you know that that didn't happen. And we'll find out about that shortly. Championship scramble. So, yep, I brought back Roadblock because I thought it was a great idea as opposed to Fastlane. Because I think Fastlane is absolutely stupid. Uh, championship scramble for the 24-7 championship. Uh, Ali versus Champa. Ivy League versus Orton and Jordan for the tag titles. Carl James versus Casey Walker. Casey won tough enough. He was in NXT. He was former North American champion. I actually don't remember if he won the North American title at this point. I think he did. Yeah, because in one of his... Because Walker did a three stages of hell. No, he did a two out of three falls match with Broken Matt Hardy. And in the first match, EC3 interfered. So the storyline was that Ted sent EC3 to help out Casey because Ted saw something in Casey Walker. So he gifted him the million dollar title. And then Carl won it. And then we subsequently uh, retired it after that. Uh, so then Paige versus Nikki. Paige won, actually. And then Kevin versus Daniel Bryan. Here we come to WrestleMania. I'm going to have to charge my computer here once I make a cut. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I think this is when Shelton won. Or Gargano, I don't remember. I know they definitely won Battle Royals. New Day versus Revival for the World Tag. China Memorial that was won by... Ember, maybe? Uh, Fatal 4-Way Ladder. <laughs> I really beat the Fatal 4-Way Ladder matches to death like a horse, like a dead horse. Oh lord, I didn't notice how m how many times I did that match. Holy hell. Again, I was just trying to get the tiles off of 
the Bellas at this point. I think maybe the Riot Squad. I think the Riot Squad won. Adam Cole versus Sami Zayn. Because Adam Cole won the Elimination Chamber. Because it went to SmackDown this time. Singh Brothers versus Orton and Jordan. Because Singh Brothers uh, put on a hell of a match against somebody at one point on TV. KC Mystery Opponent that would end up being uh, Matt Hardy versus Glorious Power. A non-title match, and I think they won KC and Hardy. I think. Don't quote me on it. Watch 2K365. Then I did uh, Rebecca Wolf versus Becky Lynch for the win's title. I think... I don't know if Wolf... I don't know if this was War... I don't know if this was Wolf's first title reign or not. She definitely won it multiple times. I don't remember. And I wanted to do this for like a year. Like not too far into season two or one. I wanted to unify the UK and the United States title to bring back the uh, Intercontinental. Champa won. Cody Clark uh, beat Paige for the Divas title because... Instead of Lana versus Paige, because Clark for him put had Lana put her Royal Rumble spot on the line, Clark won. Again, 2K365, if you want to know more. Then Carl James came up short against Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. So we're going to cut to what's little bit I have of Season 3. And, uh, yeah. professional so here we are with uh the cards for season three uh all four of them that i made so we got uh the iconics versus the bellas women's tag titles uh yeah the uh team kick versus the riot squad and then casey walker versus champo for the intercontinental championship Non-title open challenge, which was answered by, again, because Orton and Jordan just dominate. And I didn't want to do anybody from SmackDown. So instead, I call up the open challenge was answered by the Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions of Ricochet and Leo Rush. Because that sounds like a hell of a dream team right there. And then Cody versus Sasha for the Divas title. And then... Storyline reason, I don't know. I did Iron Man match, uh, O'Brien and James, Carl James, and I just brought back the WWE title because I got tired of the undisputed title. So, roster roulette, yet again, Fatal 4 Way for the 24 7 title. I think Woods was the champion, I don't remember who walked out with it. I think he may have retained. Uh, Owens and Roman women's tag titles. I think Michelle, I think Cross Shane won. Yeah, you see, versus I, so yeah, since it was unification, I got rid of the United States and brought back um, the Universal as a minor title. Could be like the People's Championship kind of thing. Or they, the champion would be representing the universe, the WWE universe. So that was the idea. Shelton and Roger Strong. Orton and Jordan versus Revival. Page and Ember, versus, and then Glorious Power versus New Day, and then Sasha and Rebecca, and then AJ and Cole. I don't remember any draft, anything draft-wise that happened here. Again, I was getting burnt out, and I, I was just kind of just going through the motions at this point. Kickoff match: Zaro, Bar- uh, Trent Seven. I did it randomly on our episode of Raw. Fantastic match. I wanted to see it again. Women's Money in the Bank. Natalia won it for a second time. Universal title. Anderson versus Sammy. Uh, IC Championship. Tozawa from 205. Versus Casey Walker. Divas title. Again, vac- vacated. So Sasha must have gotten drafted. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so, Conti and Page. WWE tag titles. Again, Orton Jordan win. 
Michael versus Kofi. And then Men's Money in the Bank, that was won by Brandon Torres. And then finally, Day of Reckoning. Okay, so here I am, uh, back recording several hours later. I apologize uh, for the time uh, jump. So, to finish up Series 3, well, where I stopped with Series 3, oops, we got a Fatal 4-Way 24-7 False Get Anywhere match. Cross, Roy, Selena, and Lana. I think Lana may have been the champion at this point. And then um, Belair and Bella. I think the reason was because they actually put a hat, they had a good match on Raw, then I just booked it again. Uh, the War Raiders versus Orton and Jordan. Brandon Torres with the Money in the Bank. Did not beat uh, Casey Walker for the IC title. Triple Threat Women's Tag, uh, Cross Jade versus. Oh, it seemed like I actually had a, a name for Kaylee Ray and Conti. I don't remember. Uh, then Team Kick, Divas Title, Conti versus Paige, and then Main Event, Styles and Owens. And I did a Day of Reckoning pay per view. Um, I made a whole slew of um, arenas, and I will keep doing it for future games. That I made um, arenas, and I made pay-per-views based on names of WWE games. So, like Day of Reckoning, and then there's uh, Crush Hour, Aftershock, Mayhem, and stuff like that. So, that is it for all my pay-per-view cards. Um, I think. Excuse me. The only like 2K universe I watch out of like all the popular channels is just uh, Gore and Perkins. But I have been watching um, Murphs, like just basically like his behind the scenes stuff, and that kind of was also more of like an inspiration to do a video like this. Um, again, while also just because of all the work that I've done, all these match cards. Um, and they're just sitting on my Reddit account, just kind of gathering dust. But it's like I figured I'd show them off. So, just again because I want to reboot my 2K universe, and uh, we'll see what happens there. So that's gonna be it. I hope you all enjoyed. I know it's gonna be a, a marathon of a video. I know that for sure. Um, so thank you everybody so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And um, Maybe if you want periodic updates on my universe, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you everybody for watching. I'll... Thank you so much for watching. I'll look at you guys next time. Get a blooper right at the end.